What's up everyone? Hey, so dropping in today with a little different uh, style, have some story and some backstory here that I've actually never really talked about, have never mentioned on camera, um, had recently really haven't told anybody until um, I had just gotten in deeper conversation uh, with my wife and had started to meet with a few friends. Um, it's been really interesting. So I actually got to meet with an old college teammate yesterday and uh, that was pretty awesome so I haven't seen him since it's like 2011 2012 ish and uh, he was in town and so we got together for coffee and I got to hear some of the projects he was working on and a really cool project that he's he's hammering out right now and I got to hear some of his story and what's been going on in his life for the last couple years and really in the last year and it was just kind of crazy to me uh, the similarities that him and I had have gone through over this last year and the struggle and just the personal struggles that we've each dealt with. And it's it was really nice being able to just uh, talk to him, you know, hear his story and his struggle and then talk to him about my own and uh, and really just realize the importance of being able to talk to another male um, because I feel like so many so many of us guys feel like we can't uh, talk about what's going on in our lives or talk about the struggle because we don't want to feel weak. We don't want to feel vulnerable. We want to feel like we're a man's man. Um, and that's definitely changing, um, but it doesn't make it any less hard for guys to talk to um, other guys about their struggles. And I think a lot of times we feel like we're on this island where we can't speak to other guys. We don't think like anybody else is going through what we're going through. Um, and that there definitely is that loneliness there. But very interesting, uh, thought provoking, and really debated on if I even wanted to film this or put this out there. I actually pressed record on and off a couple times here in the last few minutes as I was getting started. Um, really didn't know if I want to record or not. Maybe I still won't post it. I don't know, but I'm recording it. And so I wanted to share some backstory as I'm getting further and further along with my business. And some of this would kind of trigger how I kind of got started um, with these new branches, new parts of my business um, as we started Seeker and things like that. But it's just interesting because almost almost a year ago, we're at like 23 months, I took another job. I already had Run to Gun. For those of you who know, I was, I've been hammering Run to Gun since 2011 and 12. Um, but I've always worked full time with that up until just this past June. Uh, on June first, I took Run to Gun full time. So June, July, August, September, October, rough five months full time Run to Gun. So before that, since 2011, it's been two jobs: full time Run to Gun, full time other job. But I was working for a company at the time about two years ago uh, for a really big fitness company that had gotten started. And I took a job there as just a trainer and worked my way up really quick to be a fitness manager. Um, was was hiring and training other trainers, um, you know, on how to be great trainers, how to treat people well, how to sell. Um, and I helped open up another facility. Um, they were growing really rapidly, and really en enjoyed that for the most part. Um, but even backtracking another almost three years before that, I had left being a personal trainer at a gym. I took this job at this big corporate style gym and I was stoked about the change. But one week in, and I had talked about this in another podcast, one week in, uh, it was February 12th or 13th and I was sitting up above this kind of big loungy area and I was so mad at myself for taking that job and selling, I felt like I sold myself short for not taking run on full time. And I was just utterly pissed off at myself and almost in tears. I probably was in tears actually. And just so mad at myself. And I promised myself I was going to give myself a year to work my way out of that and take run to gun full time. Well, I ended up staying there for just shy of three years. I actually pretty much enjoyed it for most of that time. I had really good freedom with run to gun and still work on that. Um, and they were very supportive. So I stayed there a little longer than what I had promised myself. But from there, I took this other job, um, very na nationwide corporate style job, franchising, uh, marketing, um, 
franchise support, things like that, that I was helping with this uh, changeover with this company. And it, it was in the supplement world. And so I got to learn a boatload about supplements, which is was huge for me uh, developing Seeker, right? Um, so I had dreamed about starting Seeker since I was since 2012, 2013, when we were going run to gun. Um, so this actually led me to be able to gain the knowledge, uh, the inside information of that world that I needed to learn, um, just being around it and studying and and understanding how everything works in that world a little bit. But through that process, nothing worked out as planned. And the the 18 months that I was there. Absolutely nothing worked out as planned. No promises were kept. Um, the culture was terribly poor, um, negative, and something I'd never been around in the past because in my previous professional career, all the years I'd been personal training and, and leading and, and those things, everything was positive because when you're, when you're training somebody, they come to you and they want to make positive changes in your li- in their lives. So all you're doing is feeding positivity. They're there because they want to be there. And so there really isn't much negatives. I mean, obviously, people have their bad days or whatever. But for the most part, it's, it's pretty much positive. And so I had never been around um, a massively negative community, uh, a negative culture. Um, I've never had to really fight too much of that. Um, there's always, obviously always a little bit here and there just because that's how life is. But at, at this new venture that I was on, it was complete opposite. And so it was a big struggle for me. And it just really wore on me over time. And there for the 18 months, and especially after the first six months, the first six months weren't terrible. But post that were, were just like some of the worst times I've ever had in my life. So for the last, you know, 18 months has been, obviously I've been, I've been out of it for five, which has been great. And it's been great for me. And it's been just cool. Cause I've gotten to take running on full time and be put my energy towards that. That's what I've always wanted, but there's still this drag. Even after those, after being out of it for five months, being in it for 18 did such a damage. Like it's kind of like if you smoked for 30 years, but then stop smoking and you expect yourself to be able to go like run a marathon and have your lungs not hurt within a couple of months after that. It like just, that's kind of what it's like to me. So I'm post this 18 months of terribleness and it's like some of it, it's just like still weighing and dragging and it's not like I dwell on or think about it daily, but there's still like this just negative shadow there. And it's weird because it's not like, it's not like a triggering point. It's not like a feeling I can put a word on. It's just there. And it's all like the only way I can really explain it. And it's just this like negativity and sadness that's there. Um, Because of just how, it was just a terrible experience. And it was so, I can't even explain it how narcissistic and awful a time it was. And just... I, unbelievable how people can treat other people. You know, it's just crazy to me. I've never experienced anything like that. And didn't I mean, I'm a Midwest kid. I want to believe that there's good in everybody. And I, and I just try, I love to trust people. I put, you know, the best thoughts into people. And uh, it was really a learning experience, experience for me that it's just, unfortunately, not the way it is with some people and even with people here in the Midwest. And so, sucked. And so I'm still dealing with that, um, lay, you know, that layover from that, that smoker's cough, if you will, that, you know, if you're, if you smoke for 30 years, you go to run a couple months after that, it's still going to be a struggle. It's going to be a struggle for a while. Right. So just barreling off of that. And so as I'm talking with my friend about his last year, I'm thinking, wow, like the time frame of what he was going through is like the same time frame of what I'm going through. Like, It's crazy how we haven't even spoke to each other in this long since 2011. And here we are sitting for a coffee, um, hearing about each other's experience over the last year and the struggle that we went through and confiding each other male to male and trusting each other. And like, man, it felt so good to be able to do that and hear him, he hear me. And, and we're talking all about how important this is to be able to do this guy to guy. 
and how we're both on these kind of like missions and these projects to, in what we do, to make impacts and positive impacts in other people's lives. And he spoke and he was like, yeah, in order to be, you know, to relate to other people, you have to be more relatable. And it's so true in that, you know, putting yourself out there is part of that relatability and not being afraid to show vulnerability, which is probably the hardest part for most males. Um, And, you know, he got to talking about the moment, his moment, where he made that decision to go to the next. And like my moment was that, you know, where I left the, the corporate gym to go to this corporate job. And he talked about his moment and, you know, how he was talking to somebody. And he was like, yeah, I, if I was to go back to that moment, would I change things, and not make that decision? He was like, no, I wouldn't, you know, like, and he was, he was telling the story of how he was talking to somebody else. And they're like, wow, I just learned more about you in that two sentences that you wouldn't go back and change anything than in the whole story. And I'm like instantly connected to that because I'm like, oh, dude, uh, I'm the exact, I feel the same way. Like the last 18 months of my life in professional career that ended up pulling over into my personal, you know, well-being I wouldn't go back to November two years ago on November 1st where I started this new job or, you know, Halloween when I quit my other one and changed my decision. And it's kind of odd to think about that because you're like, how terrible, you know, the struggle has been, you know, and everything that you've gone through. You're like, no, you wouldn't go back and, and change it. Like, I totally wouldn't. And here's why. Because even though all that struggle happened and I'm still facing struggle now you know emotionally and 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 mentally doesn't mean like those things aren't happening for the better and even though it sucks and it still sucks like I think about how much I've accomplished in the last 18 months to two years because of all of it I think about all the things that I've done and grown internally um as a person because of all the struggle. It's just kind of crazy how much, like when you stop and think, like I think we all sell ourselves short once in a while or frequently when you go through the struggle and you feel kind of worthless and you're like, feel like you're not accomplishing anything, but like you gotta step back and, and really look at like, okay, like I have accomplished a ton in the sense of my personal growth, my outlook on things, um, you know, emotionally, how much I've grown as a person because of this self-awareness as a person that has grown because of this is crazy. And so, and then and really in, in what I'm trying to accomplish with run to gun from a stance of making positive impacts on people, I think about how this 18 months can really, if I can vocalize it and communicate it, how much it can help other people. And it's just really interesting to me that like, you know, the paths that we're on and why we have to go through certain things isn't always clear. And mine definitely still isn't crystal clear in my mind, but just trusting the process daily to keep working to get through it and focusing on, on things that, that help, help me have better days and help me be positive. And so it's really interesting. And you know, the whys behind it all. So, yeah, I'm at a loss for words for, for a lot of it. And it's just, it's, it's definitely emotional for me to, to talk about and to think about on, you know, why you have to go through the junk, you know. And a, but, but it's a reminder as you're sitting there with, as I was sitting there with, with my buddy on like, dude, like we all definitely go through things. Like, we all go through crap, every single one of us. And it's not always visible to each other from the outside, uh, but everybody's going through a struggle, maybe at different times uh, than you are. Um, and the struggle might not necessarily seem necessarily seem difficult to you, um, but it could definitely be very difficult to them. Um, you know, it's think, I kind of think about it like a pain threshold, like somebody smashing their finger with a hammer might really hurt to them and hurt for a long time and it may hurt for two days 
Um, but the other person, they might hit themselves with a hammer, pounding in a nail, and it, ah, it hurts. 30 seconds, good to go. And so sometimes you could hit your finger with a nail, it hurts for 30 seconds, and somebody else hits it, and it hurts for three or four days, and you're judging them because of, dude, it's, that, it doesn't hurt that bad. And so we're, we're sometimes seeing other people's struggles, and dude, it's, that's not that big of a struggle. Like, what, why are you struggling? But each other's struggles are, are so much different. What's hard to somebody might not be hard to you. What's hard to you might not be hard to somebody else, but it doesn't mean their heart isn't very hard to them. And just to have that, that empathy for everybody's own struggles and remember that everybody's going through something is definitely, you know, humbling for sure. But definitely looking back to 23 months ago, almost, almost to the day. We're getting down here to the end of October. But looking back to 20, almost two years ago, like would I change my mind and not go work at that company if I knew that I'd have to go through the struggle for the next two years like I am now and who knows how much longer? Uh, hopefully not much. But, but you know, if you knew you weren't going to get that, if, that you didn't have to go through that struggle, I still wouldn't change my, change my decision. You know, I, I definitely could still be back working for the corporate gym and not be any different of a person, not have, have grown, you know, emotionally and, and spiritually and, and be, you know, grown in my positivity in that sense and grown in my style of helping people and grown in my business. Um, you know, I, you think about all those things and like, okay, like, if you sacrifice that struggle, you're going to go through it in order to grow. So it's interesting. I hope, I hope it helps you think a little bit about like your moment. If you've had one of these moments where you're like, dude, this, this time, this time frame sucked. And God, if I could go back and change it, would I, It'd be, I, I'd, I'd love to hear, I'd love to hear your, your out, outlook on it. Like, would you change it? So that's a few thoughts that are definitely behind the scenes in my life uh, today. And um, decide if I'm going to post this or not. Maybe you'll hear this, maybe you won't. But if you do, I hope it helps you guys and I hope it encourages uh, somebody out there that needs to hear it. And that definitely what helped me a ton is just being able to find that person or persons to, to talk to a little bit about and just get it off and speak about it. And, uh, Definitely feels good to talk a little bit about more, even just to a camera here, and uh, just speak it, speak it out loud, and uh, get the feelings out there a little bit, and uh, understand that, yeah, I, you know, definitely not have the arrogance to think that you're the only one, or have the arrogance myself to think that I'm the only one that that goes through something, you know, that other people go through through things too, and that when you can find that person to confide in and speak to, definitely a good thing, even if it's. In, into a camera, whether it's on a, a blog, whatever, like I think that's definitely a healthy outlook and a platform for you to be able to speak and get some of those feelings out there and uh, get feedback if you want it or not get feedback. So hope you enjoyed today. Thanks a lot, you guys. Appreciate you listening and uh, we'll talk to you soon.